Since essentially the beginning of time, there have always been debates, especially when it comes to building a truck. We're talking things like lift size, tire selection, heck, even what color to powder coat your suspension, it's always been something. But there's one overarching debate that has stood the test of time since I was even a little kid. Granted, that was only like 15 years ago or something, but still, there's a battle of materials and strength happening even still to this day with literally no end in sight. But which one is right and which one is wrong? I'm not sure that I know the answer to that, but what I do know is I'm Dustin with Custom Offsets. You guys can follow me on the gram at dusty.co, and today we've got a habanero level spicy video for you guys. Today we're diving headfirst into the hot sauce to find out just which wheels are better and truthfully find out if forged wheels are really worth it. Let's get it. As we're getting right into what is probably the greatest debacle of all time when it comes to custom trucks, it's important to remember that there is no right answer when it comes to this topic. I mean, after all, it's really like everything else in life and it just depends on what you're doing with your wheels. More on that later though. In the meantime, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel so we can keep kicking ass and taking names over here at the old custom offsets by making this awesome truck content that you guys have come to love from us. But enough about that, let's get into the meat and potatoes of the video here. So first and foremost, what the hell is a cast wheel? What's a forged wheel? And what on God's green earth is a rotary forged wheel? So up first today, we have the most common wheel of all time, the cast wheel. If you aren't familiar, cast wheels are called cast wheels because they start with a boiling hot pot of molten metal and when we say boiling hot, we mean boiling hot. Oh, ha, ha. oh, that's hot. That's hot. Most aluminum alloys need to be heated to approximately 1200 degrees Fahrenheit in order to properly flow into the molds. And you guys thought habanero peppers were hot. Once the aluminum alloy mixture has been heated, it's mixed with a few other materials to help strengthen it and make sure that your wheels aren't gonna crack when you're mobbing down the highway. From there, this molten alloy is injected or cast into a mold in the shape of the wheel, giving the wheel its shape and its design. From there, the cast wheels are taken out of the mold once cool, finished up, painted, and boxed up to be shipped to the end user. This process of casting wheels has a few advantages. For starters, cast wheels are quite a bit cheaper than their forged or even rotary forged counterparts. This is because forged wheels take much more time to manufacture compared to cast wheels. Additionally, this lower production time allows manufacturers to make significantly more wheels per day, which means more wheels per week and more wheels per year than making a forged wheel, ultimately bringing the price down because there's just more available. On the flip side of the debate is the one and only forged wheels. I mean, let's face it, everyone's seen a forged wheel at one point in their life. We're talking heavy hitters like American Force, Fuel Forge, Specialty Forge, Fit Up All the Off-Road, and a whole bunch more. While I was unable to find exactly where forged wheels truly started, word on the street says that they were founded way back in 1948 by a company that you may have heard of called Alcoa. Alcoa claims in 1948 that they invented the first truly forged truck wheel. While again, I can't confirm that, what I can confirm is that a lot has changed since 1948, right? What hasn't changed though is that the overall process on how forged wheels are made. Forged wheels and cast wheels actually start off in a very similar fashion with a big old pot of molten metal. Again, we're about 1200 degrees here. In a similar fashion as to what cast wheels are made, Forged wheels are also poured out into a mold, except these molds are different. Forged wheel castings are basically just this big old cylinder of blank aluminum that it's poured and then allowed to cool. From there, these blanks, or castings as they're called, are sliced into different sizes depending on which wheel size is to be made out of them. From there, these blanks are heated to a temperature that makes them flexible, so a little bit squishy, right? And then pushed through molds to form them into the correct shapes. After all, you want a round wheel to be, well, round. 
Once shaped and cut to size, these forged castings are then sent to a machining process where a milling machine actually goes in and it cuts away all the excess material and makes things like the wheel face and the lip and then ultimately drills the bolt pattern. That's what's gonna actually make it fit on your truck because let's face it, the right bolt pattern is kind of important. You might think it's not important, but that's not true. One of the biggest advantages of a forged wheel is that they're strong, like, really strong. Additionally, being made from a single piece of solid billet aluminum makes them much more simple in terms of repairing should you, you know, accidentally kiss a curb or something in a bank drive through Plus, because they're made from a single piece of monoblock aluminum, aluminum forged wheels are one of the only wheels that can give you a true shine if you're looking for that polished wheel look. Now sure, there are some companies out there that make a cast wheel in a polished finish, but at the time of us making this video, which is today, we haven't seen how these compare to a polished billet wheel. Another big advantage to the forged wheels is that you can make them essentially as custom as you would like. Unlike cast wheels, which require a new mold, which can cost literally tens of thousands of dollars, forged wheels are easy to change. You just go into the old CAD and you tweak your design a little, stretch the spokes out, make the windows bigger or something, and then fire it off to the old CNC machine and bam, you got yourself a custom set of one-off wheels for your truck. The downfall of these wheels is that as custom as they are and as great as they look, they're goddamn expensive. For comparison's sake, a set of 24 by 14 Archon Mandelas, which are a cast true directional wheel, will set you back about $2,000. The same size wheel in a specialty forged wheel is gonna set you back close to 10 grand. As you can see, there's a little bit of a price difference between a cast and a forged wheel. And as if that wasn't already enough to make your head spin, there's a third wheel type that enters the market. Known to some guys as flow formed, rotary forged wheels got their start actually in the car industry. Rotary forged wheels start off in the same way that a low pressure cast wheel does with the molten aluminum being injected into the mold. Unlike a traditional cast wheel though, rotary forged wheel molds are much narrower and are quite a bit thicker than a standard cast wheel. This is important for the next step in the rotary forging process. Once the wheels are cast and they've cooled and popped out of the molds, the barrel of the wheel is then heated back up and it's actually pushed back out via immense pressure from rollers. Because they roll the material of the barrel of the wheel outwards, similar to how grandma does when she's running a rolling pin on her southern style biscuits, right? Not only is this a beautiful process to watch, but it also actually elongates the actual structural grain of the metal itself, making the wheel much stronger. This also is gonna leave you with a much lighter wheel than its cast counterparts, making it perfect for automotive racing. It wasn't until the last few years, however, that companies like Axe Off-Road and Fittipaldi Off-Road began offering a rotary forged truck wheel as a way to shave a few pounds off your wheel and tire setup because let's face it, Wheel and tire setups, they're freaking heavy. So with all that being said, which wheel is the best? Honestly, kind of like we said at the beginning of the video, it really does depend on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a set of wheels for your daily driver to help it look good, but also stand up to the wear and tear of everyday life, then a cast wheel might be the best option for you. They're going to look great. They come in all sorts of sizes and you can even get a true directional cast wheel from companies like the one and only Archon Off-Road. If you're looking for a heavy duty wheel or a wheel that's truly polished aluminum, then Forged is for you. At the end of the day though, it's all personal preference, but I absolutely love how polished aluminum looks on a set of wheels, which is why you guys will see what wheels I choose for my truck in the last episode of the build series that goes up in just a couple weeks. And finally, if you're looking to shave a few pounds off your wheel and tire setup, then a rotary forged wheel may be the best option for you. It, it's really up to you guys. What do you guys think though? Do you have cast wheels or do you have forged wheels? Are forged wheels better or is that a myth? Let us know what you guys think down in the comment section below. We're looking forward to hearing from each and every one of you. And with that, I'm Dustin with Custom Offsets and I'll see you guys on the next one. And I'm John. And you're John.